Yo, what is up, boys? T Dog coming at y'all, man. Hey, look, man, I got a special treat for y'all, young boys, today, man. Listen. Zayaf is out here talking this shit, man. Zayaf went 93 and 0 at rank, man. Man, dropped a video titled How I Lost My 93 0 Record in UFC 4 or some shit like that, right? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Professor T Dog, he's gonna give you guys a little breakdown. I'm gonna put on my put on my glasses right here, sit real close to my monitor. Give y'all, give our boys a, you know what I'm saying, a breakdown. How, uh, you know, an elite player like Zayaf really lost his 93 0 record. Think about that, guys. 93 and 0. Man, I'm not going to say as I have capping. As I have ain't to do that. You know what I'm saying? He's the 11-year-old warrior, man. That boy don't be capping, man. You know what I'm saying? So if you say he's 93 and 0, I believe it, man. You know what I'm saying? That boy don't be stat packing like some people be doing. But anyway, listen. Besides the point, right? We can go ahead and get into this gameplay here. Uh, like I said... This is how Zayaf lost his 93 and 0 record, and I just feel like you guys missed some of the nuances and some of the high-level techniques and stuff and strategies that you know led to Zayaf's downfall in a set match. My man Zayaf YouTube fell to the side saddle armbar, folks. The 11 year old warrior, the demon at UFC 4, man. And he fell to the side saddle armbar. That's pathetic, folks. Now, listen, you might be talking like, but Tito, the side saddle armbar is busted. And I agree. I completely agree with you. But if you use that as an excuse for my man Zayaf YT, the cheat code, for losing, you're an idiot, all right? You probably never won a game of UFC 4 in your life, all right? And that's facts. That's facts, all right? And I'm going to tell you why. There are a few things that Zayaf YouTube could have done to avoid the situation. A few simple things, a few beginner things, if you will. Listen, first mistake Zayaf YouTube made, my brother Zayaf. He faced an opponent named... Drippy Kobe won. Who the fuck is that guy? Now, I'm not sure if you guys are none the wiser, or maybe you're an ignorant or, you know, new to UFC games. But it's fine. I understand. I don't blame you. But look, if you ever face a person named Drippy Kobe one, Who the fuck is that? You need to close the application immediately because that is the most alpha name that there could be in a UFC game you feel me names like that names like serious stan pro racer tony there's a there's a bunch of names but you should there's just a few names that you just don't mess with and i'm telling you right now drippy kobe one is one of those that was your first mistake mr zayaf youtube with all due respect your second mistake zayaf youtube right here i'm gonna tell you man and i know this may come as a shocker to some of you folks watching but he should have listened to his corner, man. You guys are going to be like, T-Dog, the corner, man. They don't really say anything interesting. You're right, my brother. But at the same time, you're wrong. If you think that the corner, man, don't do anything for you in this UFC 4 game, you're wrong. All right? If that were the case, the developers would not have even included that. You're telling me that the developers of EA Sports UFC 4 put in things that don't make sense or don't really help you or things that could even confuse you? If you think that about the eSports UFC 4 developers, you're an idiot. Simply, frankly put, man. Now I'm going to tell you what Zayaf YouTube should have done. You should listen to his cornerman. Because at a specific point, his cornerman told Zayaf this. You got to scramble. You got to scramble. I want to see you scramble. Zayaf, why did you not scramble? I know hindsight's 2020, T Dog. I know. I understand this. But Zayaf, when you were flicking that right trigger and that left trigger, right? When you were feathering them bad boys trying to get out of that overpowered submission, did it never not click to you, Zayaf, that all you had to do was scramble? Your corner man wanted to see you scramble, and what did you do, Zayaf? You laid there on your back. That's what she said. That doesn't look like the behavior of someone who's 93 and 0, Zayaf. All right, Zayaf, that was your first mistake. But I understand. I understand. Sometimes 
sometimes the cornermen, we just can't hear them or our mind gets all foggy, right? We don't understand what they really want us to do. So when he was yelling at you to scramble, you, you probably tried, but you probably couldn't. And I'm not gonna blame anyone for the, you know, your inability to scramble, but, you're, but you, Zyaf, all right? We're not even gonna point the finger at the devs because you're totally able to scramble. If you're watching this video right now and you don't, you're not aware of UFC 4, you are able to scramble, okay? It's a, it's, it's definitely a feature, it's in there, all right? Uh, yeah, UFC 4, the devs put, put that in there. You can scramble out of a submission. Yes, yeah, right, right, okay. Back to the corner man. This is exactly what his corner man said after he told him to scramble. So I have to listen to that. The corner man was like, all right, let me tell him this. Maybe this will help Zayaf YouTube get the memo that he is in some danger right now. But he was too busy flicking the L2 and R2. This is what the corner man said. For those of you who did not hear what the corner man said, he told Zayaf to get out of there. Now, I don't think it clicked to Zayaf that I don't know, maybe he should get out of there. I mean, it, I know it seems pretty simple, but some people are so high level that things like that just don't register. They're too busy, you know, doing other things, worrying about other high level ways to, you know, do stuff and get out of situations. But Zayaf, really, if you broke it down, my brother, you should have just got out of there. You know what I mean? Like, simple, man. I'm, I'm going to have to hand you the L on this one, Zayaf. All right? You're not 93 and no anymore. You're, you're 90... You're 93 and 1. All right. And I know it hurts, but Zayaf, I want you to take this as a learning experience, my brother. I want you to take this and run with it. All right. You're 93 and 1, Zayaf. Still an amazing, tremendous record, right? That guy, that guy that drippy Kobe won, he outclassed you, Zayaf. All right. He was better than you, and that's just what it was, Zayaf. All right. But I want you to run with this. I want you to understand that from now on, when your cornerman tells you to scramble, he tells you to get out of there. That's what you got to do, Zayaf. All right? No, but really, man, all jokes aside, man, big ups to Zayaf, man. 93 was fucking incredible, man. That's crazy, bro. I cannot fathom that. Uh, he's been grinding. He's been doing his thing, man. Dude's video hit like 120 video, uh, thousand views at the time of this recording, I think, man. Zayaf's popping, man. Good stuff, brother. Big ups to you, man. Big ups, man. Do nothing but respect, man. This is all satire, man. None of this shit was serious, bro. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, if y'all haven't already, bro, if y'all like that type of content, man, like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff, man. Your boy is actually going to start grinding now. He's back on his YouTube shit, man. Appreciate everyone who stopped by, man. And peace, man.